This is a video about how to install drivers on a Windows 7 operating system. So let's begin. I just recently installed uh, this Dell computer from Windows XP to Windows 7. And um, I'm going to show you how to install the drivers for it today. To begin with, to find out which drivers you want to install, you should go to the device manager. And here's how we go to the device manager in Windows 7. You go down to the Windows Orb or Windows Start button, which is right there. You left click on the Start button. You go to where it says Computer. You right click on Computer. Then you go down to where it says Properties. You left click on Properties. This page will come up. You go up to where it says Device Manager. Left click on Device Manager. And the Device Manager will come up and it will show you which drivers are, are uh, having issues and which drivers are, in, are installed properly. And as you can see, right here under Other Devices, we have a black explanation mark next to the PCI modem. So what we're going to do today is install the drivers for the PCI modem. So let's go ahead and minimize this. We'll go ahead and close this page. Next thing we need to do is decide how we're going to install the drivers for this uh, for this uh, modem. It just depends upon the machine that you have. You can either install the drivers from a CD or DVD or you can install them online from your manufacturer's site. Uh, in this case what we're going to do is we're going to install the new drivers for Windows 7 online from the Dell website. So what I did was I came down to the Choose the browser of your choice. For me, it's going to be Internet Explorer. I left click on the um, Internet Explorer. Like I said, I already have it. Uh, uh, most of the pages up. So usually, what I do is I type in Dell.com forward slash support. It doesn't really show the website that I that I typed in, but you can go there to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash support dot Dell dot com. I hope you guys can see that clearly enough. Now I'm just going to pull out of that. Usually it may or may not take you to this page and you'll have three options. One for support for your home users. One for support for small businesses and then one for support for enterprise IT personnel. For me this is going to be a support for home users. So I left click on the red button, I'm, I'm sorry, I left click on the green button and it took me to this page. I don't need this anymore. Like I said I have them all already loaded and it takes me here to the drivers and downloads page. Then I left click on this icon Let's say drivers and downloads. Up. And then it took me to this page. It may take you to this page. It may take you to one before this. I think I closed the other page, the next page by accident. So you can go to this page. And you can choose whether or not to put in your service tag. All Dell computers seem to come with some type of a service tag. Or you can go over and choose No. And choose the option, choose from a list of all Dell products. So that's the one I chose. I chose No. And choose from a list of all Dell products. And that took me to this page. And from here, I left click on the icon for desktop. Because my machine is a desktop. And once I did that, I took me to this page. 
And for me, from here, I needed to choose what type of desktop I have, which for me was uh, Dimension. And I left clicked on that. And that took me to another page where it says choose your Dell Dimension. And mine is a 4550. So when I found that, I left clicked on it. And finally, it took me to this page where my drivers are. Now, like I said, you may or may not need to do all that. Uh, it, it, it took me about five or six clicks. It may take you only two or three, especially if you already have your Dell uh, service tag. But in either case, uh, the, main, the main thing is, is to get to the page where all the drivers are, which we are. Now, since I've updated my operating system, or upgraded it, and changed it from Windows XP to Windows 7. When you come up here and you look for your operating system, you will not find Windows 7 in the pull-down arrow. Uh, not to worry. We can make the drivers that come with Windows XP work with Windows 7. So, all you need to do is choose the driver that you want, and for us today, it's communications because we want to install the analog modem. So I just left clicked on it. And I chose the modem of my choice, which for me, which for me was a Broadcom driver for a V.92 soft modem data and fax. Once I found that, you can either left click on the, on the uh, link, or you can come over to the download button and download it. And then just download it to wherever you want to save it on your hard drive. I just saved mine to the desktop. Now I already have it downloaded, so we're going to close this page. And name it whatever you want to. I went ahead and named my modem. Now, in order to successfully install this uh, driver onto your Windows 7 machine, you're going to have to do something a little differently. Number one, this comes prepackaged as a zip file. So, go ahead and download it. Don't choose run. Choose download when you're downloading these drivers. And this should work for most uh, Windows XP drivers that you download. So, go ahead and choose download, not run, when you see the option. Now, the next thing you need to do is when you download it onto your hard drive, uh, what you need to do is uh, you want to make it compatible with Windows 7. Unfortunately, um, some of the um, devices and, and device manufacturers have not updated their drivers and software to uh, run with Windows 7. But what you need to do is uh, we'll take care of that. We'll make it compatible so that it can run with Windows 7. So what I did was all you do is you go to the icon or you go to the, uh, the file that you want to install the drivers on and you right click on it. Then you go down to the bottom and you left click on properties. Then you'll see this page that comes up, and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to left click on compatibility. And you're going to come to this where it says run the program in compatibil compatibility mode for. I have it checked, and I have chosen Windows XP Service Pack 3. That's what you want chosen. Okay? And that'll make it run compatible between Windows XP Service Pack 3 and your Windows 7 machine or operating system. And then you just come down here, you choose apply, which I already did because I already had it uh, installed, and then you choose OK. Once you do that, you go back to the file that you want to install, and now you install it. So you just double click on it. It'll come up and ask you, do you want to allow the following program? You just click yes because you do. Do you want to uh, continue? Yes, you do. 
do you want to install it? Yes, you do. And what I usually do so that I can distinguish it between all those numbers and letters is I type what type of um, driver it is I'm installing. So since I'm installing a modem, I put modem at the end. As you can see right there. Then I press enter. And it says, the file yada 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 already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes, because I installed it earlier. Um, but we're going to install it again. I'm going to say yes to all. All files were successfully unzipped. Click on OK. Give it a moment. And now you can successfully install this as if it was a Windows XP machine. But in actuality, as we all know, this is Windows 7. And sorry for the unsteady holding of this. I'm trying to type with one hand and hold the camera with the other. So what we're going to do is we go ahead and install the, the driver. I choose English, choose USA, then I choose driver, and then you come over here and choose which mode you want to use, which for us is XT. And now it's going through its installation. And so you click next. And now it's going through its modem install. And that's all you really need to do. Set up a finish installing the modem software on your computer. And has started the modem. I clicked finish, then from there I clicked on exit. Now, you want to make sure that that modem, that software driver is installed correctly. What we do is go back to the device manager, which I have here. And as you can see, the modem right here is installed. And so that's how you successfully install a device driver on Windows 7. I tested it with another device driver right here, which is for my uh, audio driver. And I did the same thing. Again, all you need to do is just right click on the, on the device driver after you install it onto your computer. Left click on properties. Go to where it says compat compatibility. Make sure the box is checked for run this program in compatibility mode. And then choose Windows XP Service Pack 3. That seems to work and my driver is working for me. Thank you very much. That's the end of this video and uh, you have a good day.